good morning TNT. Yes, time to share a cup with us once again. Hope you're having a wonderful morning thus far. Yes, the weekend is here. It's Friday and that means foodie friends, fun food friends on a Friday here on a cup of joe. So not all the time chefs that I engage with like to come into the spotlight. You know, some chefs like to be in the back doing their creative stuff and just surprising you with plates. That's how some chefs rule. And you know, they, they let their food do the talking. So what I have done over the last few years is try to pull some of these great chefs from behind the kitchen and bring them into the spotlight. I have one such gentleman that has been doing some wonderful stuff over the years, real creative stuff. Um, and, and more and more that I got to know his story, I recognize, you know, a simple guy from the hills of Arima, owner a roti shop that he inherited, doing his roti. But if you did not know Chef Rishi Ramuta, you would not know that he is just a man that like roti. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Love roti. <laughs> chef, welcome. Welcome. Nice My foodie friend this morning is Chef Rishi Ramuta. And uh, Chef Rishi Ramuta is a trained, qualified chef, yes? Yep. But you run a roti shop. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with No, it. no, I never say anything was wrong with it. <laughs> no, no, people, people generally get the, the impression that you're a chef and you have a roti shop. So, so that, that is but the immediate reaction. It, it has been in my family for 38 years. Right. So I inherited it and well, I did my degree in culinary management and yeah. I just continued with it. That's what I love. 38 years. The, the 38 years. 38 years. That's fantastic though. I think I was just making the comment a couple of weeks ago on the show. Um, Melange restaurant celebrated 15 years and sometimes we don't have establishments, whether culinary or otherwise, that last so long, you know, passed on from generation to generation here yeah, in TNT. Yeah. And, and that's fantastic. What's the name of the roti shop? CNJ Restaurant and Bar. CNJ Restaurant and Bar. But Rishi um, jumped to the spotlight, I think, in the social media craze that is now happening here. Um, when he started doing things like wobbles, he took our doubles with waffles and made wobbles. I just waffled the bar up. <laughs> People just always get the wrong impression. The wrong that, impression. That is a waffle. No, it's bar up. It's just not fried. It right. just waffled. It's waffled. Explain that, because that's how I think you jumped into the media, into the social media. Yeah, spotlight. yeah. Um, it was just a, a healthy alternative. Um, to borrow. Well, if you watch all documentaries, all great chefs, they try to make a dish lighter without losing the taste. Mm -hmm. So it was the perfect way, because if you have a freshly fried barra, it's fluffy and crunchy. Crunchy, soft on the inside. A waffle inside. is the same thing, so I just waffle the barra dough. You That's waffle it. the barra dough. So it's just the misconception that is waffles. Yeah. No, it's not. And you put chan on, slice same, pepper, same, same, same everything. Same, thing, yeah, same yeah. everything. When it started creating a buzz, did you ever think that I should set up a little stand and start to put um, this around the island? No, I, I do it for events. Yeah. I do it for events. So, I mean, it, it is cool. Everybody that actually tastes it, there's always be like, but it's doubles. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, the idea, that idea came about just based on you trying to make bar healthier? Yeah? yeah, for my wife, really. Yeah? yeah. For your wife? Yeah. Right, cool, cool, cool. But you've done some crazy stuff, as I said. Um, just some of the stuff that, that, that you've done, which is what really in, kind of inspired me to even follow you and, and, and check you out because I like that kind of creative stuff. Beetroot, kuchula. Right. So when you hear that, and you think kuchula, you think beetroot, you combined it. You did edible gyro spoons. <laughs> Coconut drop souffle. Right. So those things are now kind of showing your culinary ability. Well, it's just to, to take something and reinvent it, make it more appealing to the global market. Yeah. Because um, I think Trinidad has the best cuisine I've ever tried. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I like to travel, so I travel a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Barbados is considered the culinary capital of the Caribbean. I just can't accept that. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, they keep pushing. Yeah, and our, our, our cuisine is so diverse, yeah. so unique. We, you have, know, yeah. we have so many influences in our food. Yeah. And we gotta push it to yeah. get it out there. Yeah. Because food tourism is actually something. Because if I travel somewhere, 
I don't want to eat at the hotel. I ask the taxi driver, so where you eat? What yeah. you have for lunch? Yeah. I want to eat that. Yeah. And there's plenty of people, if you talk to them, that's what they do. They go to where the locals eat. Yeah. So we need to push that here, I think. Um, but you can make roti though. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> That has, been my, that has been my breakfast for about 25 years. <laughs> Serious? A small chicken roti. <laughs> a small chicken roti. So, but, but no, no, I mean, you actually in the kitchen making the roti. No, no, no. I am. Um, I'm more managerial position. See, so managing though, yeah. Right. But we have a roti maker. But everything is still overseed by my mom. Right. Serious? Yes. And she started selling roti out of a cooler in the front. And then she established a roti shop. So she still has a hand in there. That that's probably the sweet hand there. Yeah, that's yeah. The sweet hand and the roti there. Yeah. yeah so yeah, if people yeah. come and they don't see us, like, wait, mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. customers who literally know me from a baby. Yeah. So they just come, wait, wait, mother. I was like, she in the back. Okay. Yeah. Roti safe to buy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rishi, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Rishi it's is a coming back me, after yeah. the short break. Uh, when we will, uh, he'll actually, I'm not sure because I uh, said he's such a creative guy uh, that runs a roti shop and manages a roti shop, but he has come up with all sorts of wonderful culinary creations. He's brought one for me to taste this morning. When we come back after the short break, we plate up something for, from Rishi's crazy culinary mind. Here's a little peek inside what's coming up on the show.